Good evening students, <clears throat> praise the name of the living God. My name is Mark Njoroge Mungai or Pastor John Mark and I am an online tutor. I make tutorial videos. With me I've also uh, uh, again uh, um, looked for, 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 for gears, looked for pictures uh, that, are, that pertain gears just to show you what we are drawing and what we are designing in gears. And I've also shown you here in these pictures again the application of gears in industry. We use gears in transmission. We all know that gears are used most uh, in automotives and in cars, where cars are, help us to move from one place to the other. So gears is a very vital component in automotive or in any form of transmission of motion from engines, then to the gearbox, then to the wheels. Please enjoy and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I show you now how to construct and how to calculate gears. Thank you. Good morning, good morning students. Once again, we thank God. I promised you in my last video that I will actually show you how to, to put uh, these formulas, these formulas now, into actual, into action into actual calculations and uh, i've prepared a very nice table for you and this is the table i've i've, I've shown you here this is the the, uh, the table that i've showed you here now the question was still asking opinion and gear and gear and gear wheel are in mesh to give a ratio of one is to one the number of teeth on the wheel is 25 and with a model of 10 and a line of action at 20 degrees construct Two of the pinion in mesh with three teeth of the gear wheel. Now I will now show you how to actually calculate all these things and put them into action. And then I will show you how to construct. It is always divided into three sections. The very first time when you read the question, when you read your question on your on your on your uh, in your question paper, when you're given the question paper like this, then you have you have read your question, a pinion and a gear are in mesh to give a ratio of 1 is to 1. The number of teeth on the gear wheel is 25, with a module of 10, and a line of action of 20 degrees. Construct two of the teeth in pinion, and in mesh with three of the teeth of the gear wheel. After you have selected your question and read this question, the very first procedure I've told you is to write down every formula, and the relevant, the most basic features that you should be having. And I've told you the basic features are the CP, you should know the formulas for the CP, the addendum, you should know that the, the addendum is equal to module. We should know the clearance. You should know the formula for thickness. Know the formula for the addendum. And that is the clearance plus addendum. Know the formula for the PCD, the PCD of the wheel, the PCD of the pinion. Know the formula of the addendum circle diameter, the addendum circle diameter of the wheel, the addendum circle diameter of the pinion, and the addendum circle diameter of the, of, of, of the wheel, and the addendum circle diameter of the pinion. These formulas, you should know them. So that now you can apply these formulas by putting figures. Now, after you have read the question, first look at what are the calculations these are the calculations and you first write down the solution then given what are you been given in the question now solution and we have been given you'll be given the ratio the ratio is one is to one we have also been given the pressure angle is 20 degrees we have also been given the number of pinion is 25 the number of the number of teeth in the wheel is 25 and the number of teeth in the pinion is 25 why because we are told it is 1 is to 1 the ratio is 1 is to 1 it means that if the number of teeth in the gear in the wheel is 25 then the number of teeth in the pinion will also in the pinion will also be 25 the pressure angle will also be 20 degrees and the module will also be 10 it is 1 is to 1 it mean it is equal so where we look at what have you been given again? You've been given the module, which is equals to 10. Where is our where is our module? Here in the question, here you have been given here. Module is, is, is equals to, to 10. So we have module is equals to 10. So you again, every formula that was on this section, here on this part, the every formula that you wrote down here, you now bring it into application on this other side of your table. And, and for this case, during exams, NEC will always give you a, 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 an a answer booklet. You know, you're not given to do the calculations on this drawing paper. 
you will not do your calculations on the drawing paper but you will be given an answer booklet where you will be required to write those things this is the is the is the drawing paper that i'm talking about you will not be given this drawing paper to 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 write your calculations you will write your calculations on the answer booklet now let us quickly look at now how to apply these formulas so that i can show you how to draw in my next video so the first thing that we have been given the question and given every other thing that we have been given every other thing we look for the cp cp is equals to pi times module or pi times addendum so we put our pi is always equals to 3.142 or 22 over 7 times 10 because the number the module is 10 our answer will be 31.42 then we look for the addendum. Addendum is equals to module will be 10. Then clearance is equals to CP over 20. The CP that you have calculated on top here, this that 1.42 will be divided by 20 to find our clearance. What is our clearance? Our clearance is 1.571. Clearance is also very important because we are able to find the addendum using the clearance. Then look for the thickness. Thickness is equals to CP divided by 2. So what was our CP? Our CP was 31.42 divided by 2. It will be 51.71. Then we look for the dedendum. Dedendum, I've told you, we use clearance to look for dedendum. So our clearance plus addendum. What was our clearance? Our clearance was 5.171 plus 10 addendum. We find that it is 11.571. The very next thing that we look for, here we look for the PCD of the wheel. I've told you now, we have two, we have two things, two components. We have the wheel and the pinion. So the PCD will be, you will look for the PCD of the wheel and the PCD of the pinion. So the PCD of the wheel will be, it will be equals to PCD is equals to N times M, number of teeth in the wheel plus module. So what is the number of teeth in the wheel? It is 25. What is the module? It is 10. So 25 times 10, it will be 250 millimeters. That is the PCD of the wheel. Then look for the PCD of the pinion. The PCD of the pinion is also equals to the number of teeth in the pinion plus and, and the module is 10. So it will be 25 times 10. Remember I told you ratio is to 1 is to 1. That is where the number of teeth in the pinion is always equal to the number of teeth in the wheel. It is 25. It is 25. The next feature you look for is the addendum circle diameter of the wheel. First, you look for the PCD. You say addendum circle diameter is equal to the PCD plus 2 addendum. So, which PCD are we looking for? We are looking for the PCD of the wheel. Because we are supposed to look for the addendum circle diameter of the wheel. So, we use the PCD of the wheel. So, it will be PCD of the wheel plus 2 addendum. What is our addendum? It is PCD of the wheel was 250 as we calculated on top here. It was 250 plus 2 times 10. What will be the answer? The answer will be 270 millimeters. The next feature we look for, the next feature that we look for, it is the addendum circle diameter of the pinion. Of the pinion. What is the PCD of the pinion? You look here, the PCD of the pinion here, it is 250. So, in our next... Uh, in our next, uh, where I prepared the table, you look for the addendum circle diameter is equal to the PCD of the pinion. Sorry, this should be the this should be pinion. Sorry, this should be pinion. The PCD of the pinion plus two and then the models the PCD of the pinion was two hundred and fifty plus twenty, which is equal to two hundred and seventy. The next feature we look for is the dedendum circle diameter of the wheel. You look for the PCD of the wheel. The PCD of the wheel from our previous calculation we have seen it is two hundred and fifty, and the dedendum was eleven point one five seven. So it is two hundred and fifty minus minus minus. It is not plus. Addendum we add. But in the dendum circle diameter, we minus. Minus 2 times 11.571, you find it is 226 plus 0.858. The dendum circle diameter of the pinion. Look for the PCD of the pinion from your previous calculations. Minus 2 dendendum. What is our dendendum? 11.571, and this is 250. So it is 250 minus 2 uh, times 11.71. It will be 2.2685. Eight. After that, you prepare. The next step is preparing a table. Then fill in all the informations that you have calculated in this table. Fill in the CP of both the wheel and the pinion. Fill in the addendum of the wheel and the pinion. Fill in the module of the wheel and the pinion, which are always the same as in this case we are seeing. The clearance is the same. Thickness is the same. The dendum is the same. And also, the PCD is the same. The addendum circle diameter is the same. And the dendum circle diameter is the same. Why? Because it was 1 is to 1. The ratio was 1 is to 1. Please subscribe. In the next video, I will show you how to mesh.